Hello, and welcome to the Zoller Center for Excellence Training Facility. My name is Zach Cooper, and I'm the National Sales Manager for Zoller Pump Company. Today, we wanted to give a high-level overview into the differences between our entry-level products and our core product line that we offer here at Zoller Pump Company. Though both are made in Zoller factories, and each individual pump is tested to meet its performance curve before going into the box and shipping into the market, the Model 53 is made in the USA. The Model 73, on the other hand, is manufactured in a Zoller-owned facility in Taiwan. The Model 53 is part of our core product offering. This unit is made up almost entirely of cast iron, which is a great way to pull heat away from the motor and keep the pump cool. All Zoller pump cast iron is finished with a corrosion-resistant powder-coated epoxy finish to prevent corrosion and rust. All metal components are stainless steel to prevent rusting as well. All of these components play a key role in increasing the longevity of the pump. Entry-level pumps are made from a combination of cast iron and plastic. Our Model 73 does have a cast iron motor housing to pull that heat away from the motor, which is the most important. But it has a plastic cap or top. Plastic can act as an insulator, so it keeps the heat in as opposed to drawing heat out putting more stress on the components inside of the pump. You can also see the connections in the entry points on our core product line. For instance, when we talk about the cord seals, is much more robust on our core product offering than it is on our entry level product offering. Let's take a deeper dive and look into the products. All right, so let's jump right into our 73. As we mentioned earlier, we use a plastic cap on our 73. Um, while more cost-effective option, it can act as a insulator when it comes to heat. So as that motor is spinning, generating um, heat, this can actually keep the heat in the motor instead of pulling it out. Also on the 73, we use a reed style switch that is operated by a magnet, um, which again is a cost-effective option. However, depending on the environment that the pump is in, uh, if you've got some hard water or things like that, you could get some corrosion built up on the magnet um, and then not have that connection that you need there to turn the pump on and off. We also utilize a hollow float design. Again, more of a cost-effective option. Uh, the one thing you have to worry about with that is if this were to take on a, get a hairline crack or something like that, it could take on water and then it would lose its buoyancy. When we slide over into our Model 53 in our core product offering, we use a fully cast iron cap for our pump, again, thus uh, acting as a one large heat sink. So as, motor, as the pump is generating heat, drawing amps, um, it helps the heat from the motor housing up into the cap and then the water around the pump actually cools that cast iron down very efficiently. So we use a cast iron cap uh, for that on our core product. We also utilize a snap action switch that we've been using for since the 80s. Um, that's tried and tested, tested over a million cycles. This switch is inside the cap, so it's out of all the elements. Um, and then we call it a snap action switch. On our core product offering, we also offer a, or use a solid polypropylene float so that it can't take on any water it can't, if it were to crack or anything like that, so it would never lose its buoyancy. Moving down into the motor housings of each pump, we do utilize a cast iron motor housing on our 73, um, which is the most important part, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, this helps you know, dissipate the heat from the motor. We do take it a step further than some of our competitors. Um, as you can see, this motor is pressed in. Um, a lot of our competitors will use what we call a squirrel cage motor that's already an aluminum housing that they just slide up in there, thus giving an air gap so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't dissipate the heat as well. These, the, the type of motor that we use in the 73, much like any of our competitors, is a PSC motor or a permanent split capacitor motor. Uh, th that type of motor design has its pros and cons. Uh, the pro about it is that it does draw less amperage than let's say what we use in our, in our core product lineup. However, it is rely, has to rely upon a starting circuit, which is made up of a start or run capacitor or a relay. Um, and what those, what those type of um, components don't like is the rapid on and off. So when you're thinking about, uh, especially if you live in an area that's got a high water table and you're thinking about in like the spring when the rains are coming and your pumps oftentimes 
triggered on, off, on, off, on, off, oftentimes you can lose some of those start components uh, in that type of application. So um, that would be the downfall of a PSC motor. Uh, also want to make note that we uh, use a Vortex style impeller on our 73, uh, which is very good at passing uh, small debris, pebbles, uh, sticks, maybe leaves, anything like that that might be found inside the pit. When we move over to our core product line offering, we do utilize a cast iron uh, motor housing as well. Much larger, uh, much more surface area to draw that heat into, to help dissipate that heat. Now Zoller actually manufactures their own motor, uh, which is quite impressive. Right here in the United States, um, we use, you can see we use a little bit larger motor. This is actually called a shaded pole motor. Um, and again, we press this in so it sits very tight up against that cast iron. That cast iron, uh, again, drawing the heat away from that motor and then the water that's around that cast iron, cooling that cast iron for a very efficient use of uh, cooling the motor. So the shade pole motor, as kind of mentioned before, the, the downfall of it is, is it does pull a little bit higher amperage. However, we are not relying upon any starting circuitry. So um, it's, it can just be rapid fired on, off, on, off, on, off, and you don't have to worry about a failure there with the capacitor or anything like that. Uh, when we kind of move over into the impeller, here we do also utilize a Vortex style impeller, similar to our 73, just much larger. Uh, I will make note that the 53 actually spins at about half the rate of the 73, so the 73 uh, has got to spin twice as fast um, in order to move the same amount of water. And these are the differences in the impellers. Moving over to the base of the pump, or the volute, the 73 utilizes a full plastic volute. You can see here on the bottom of the 73. We utilize a 360 degree screening device as this pump sits at the bottom of the pit. And internally, inside of that, we use another 360 degree screening device. <clears throat> Again, we do use a plastic top to this volute. Uh, the, downfall, uh, the downfall of it is gonna be contractors tightening that discharge pipe down, uh, have a tendency sometimes to over tighten that, torque it down, and there is potential to get a crack in that where that discharge threads into this volute. On our core product offering, we use a plastic base that has a 360 degree screening device on the 53 as well, as internally a 360 degree screening device. Uh, again, it's gonna help uh, pass into the small debris and keep the big debris out. Now we do utilize a cast iron top to that volute so that the contractor can tighten down their discharge pipe and they don't have to worry about potentially cracking uh, the top of the volute there. So you can see there are a lot of differences between these two levels of pumps. In today's market, often you run into imported products that are private labeled under another manufacturer's name. Where at Zoller, we control our own destiny. When it comes to our entry level units, we have a Zoller owned facility in Taiwan where we manufacture our own products, thus controlling the quality. The 53 is made in the USA, giving us even more control over our design, production, quality, and allowing us to easily adapt to customer needs and market shifts. The 53 is obviously superior to that of the 73, but the entry level pumps offer a more economical option. There are some areas that may never see water or the builder or customer may be on a tight budget and they can still get a great pump in the Model 73. Depending on your needs and the needs of your application, Zoller has the right product for you.